Hey designers and welcome back. It is time to make a plan April 10th through the 16th. This next week is an exciting week around here. It is what we like to call Holy Week. That's right, it is the week leading right into Resurrection Sunday. And I wanted next week's layout to be very special in remembrance of that. So let's just get started. I've already gathered up all my supplies, so it's time to get those pages out of those planners and get to work. The inspiration for this week's layout comes from this spring decorative book from Recollections. I got this at Michael's a couple of years ago. I will be using this mint green and gold paper to cover over that left hand column. First I do need to get a measurement. We want to make sure that we cut that paper as close to the measurement as possible to avoid waste. And using the marks on my self healing mat, I will easily trim this away so that it is nice, straight, and even. Now using a glue stick from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to simply place it right over that column. As an accent across the bottom border, I will be using this beautiful tape I received in a friend mail. It has gold foil words that say believe. I feel that's very fitting for this upcoming week. Working our way up the right hand border, I will be using this accent tape. This came from a set at Michael's. It is a gold foil with a pink polka dot. Very pretty and a nice little accent for this week. Because the whole weekend is going to be a special weekend for us and we will be out of town, I want to block it off as one unit. I'm using this beautiful mint green tape from Michael's to do the job. Next up, I will be using these beautiful pastel letters. They look very spring-like to me. You will notice that I am offsetting them just a little bit to make sure there's enough room for all of the letters to fit down that column. Now I will be using these glittery letters for Sunday, the big day. To add a special accent to Sunday, I am using this beautiful tape, also received in a free mail. It does have three gold foil crosses, just to represent what Sunday is all about. Now I want to add that same border over here on the left hand column that we used on the right hand column. In order to make a thin washi out of a regular washi, you simply need to lay it on that self healing mat and use your little lines as guides. This will enable you to cut that right in half on a straight line, making an even thinner washi. And you'll notice I did that again right here with this beautiful gold foil. Now to separate off the days of the week, I'm going to use a pastel pink thin washi. And I'm just going to repeat that whole process right over on the other side, bringing some symmetry to my calendar pages. Now it's time to add a little bit of a border on our left hand column. So I'm going to use this duct tape from the Dollar Tree to do just that. I am using the side of that column as a guide because that will let me know how long I want my tape and I only want it to be about one inch thick. Now you will notice that I'm using the edge of my ruler to cut an arrowhead. This gives just a little bit of shape and dimension to this piece of tape. I'm going to put it right in place and this is where I'm going to make sure that everyone knows what month I'm working with. I'm going to use these gold glitter letters to do just that. Follow those very same steps to make me another little border flag for the bottom of my border column. I'm going to do it the exact same way except for this time I will be cutting a little fishtail design instead of that arrowhead. To me this gives it just another little element of dimension. I'm going to pop that right into place and then again I'm going to use those beautiful gold foil tapes to add a little bit of accent. I'm going to put the word believe right there on the bottom and then one single gold cross. I'm going to go ahead next and accent that with some of these beautiful gold flat bag jewels that you can get at Dollar Tree. This will add just a little bling and bring a little more attention to that bottom column. Now it's time to just begin filling in those days. Monday is a special day because it's my little brother's birthday, so I am commemorating that with these stickers from the Dollar Tree. I'm also using these Dollar Tree stickers 
to use as bullet points to add in all my activities planned out for the week and I'm using a contrasting gel pen so that that marking will stand out just a little bit more and here you have it this is what I feel is the perfect design for Resurrection Sunday now we can put it all back into place and get ready for a brand new week I want to thank all of you so very much for joining me today want to remind you that you were created for purpose, so go and be all you can be. I'll see you soon in the next video.